forever. Dog. Well, speaking of being inspired by the doors, the uh, last uh, thing I have for you here, and this is very exciting. Um, uh, th- I, I was I w- wanted to do a, a battle of the Doors tribute bands really quick. Battle of the Doors tribute bands, if we could. I'm going to show it's you. It's got to be Riders on the Storm are like the number one, right? They're like the um, Riders like the most the famous, list. aren't they? I didn't even have or them on are... this list. There's so many. Okay, all right, hold on. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess. Storm. Can we, we just guess a couple of the names before we yes, like please, please, please. get into yeah, it? Yeah, but yeah. I'm going to yeah, say. I've got, a five, I've got five contestants, but Riders on the Storm will okay, be the sixth. Okay, Soul, Soul Kitchen. A popular choice. Uh, one of these bands opens with it, but not a name of one of the bands. I give up. Okay. What is it? There is a Mojo Rising. Okay. Uh, there is a a category where I think they're really just trying to like be like sort of keyword friendly and be very obvious with it. So you have the Doors Alive, and you have the Ultimate Doors. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have a Wild Child, and then you have another band called the Dirty Doors. Ooh, is it like they use their they're like making up dirty lyrics? You would think. You would think there would be some kind of meaning to that, but it's Come just Come on a... baby, light my butt. <laughs> or they're like ride the snake to the lake, Gemba snake, you know what I mean? It means my wiener. <laughs> and they're like that's not even how the song yeah. goes. And it's like, "Oh, I was having so much fun." Yeah. LA woman wearing a bra. L.A. woman wearing a bra today. <laughs> the dirty, we're the dirty doors, everybody. <laughs> the dirty doors. Yeah. I can't believe there's a band called the Dirty Doors. Wow. So this first uh, tribute band I got for you here, this is Mojo Rising. And I, I was wondering, <laughs> we don't have to watch too many of these. Uh, we'll, we'll go through it quickly. But if you could grade them on, you know, sound, on look, uh, stage presence, okay. uh, how closely they they mimic the doors. Mm-hmm. And uh, we can we can then name uh, the uh, the uh, winner of the battle, battle of the Doors tribute bands. Um, and then I'll alert them that they have won uh, this honor. Please, that would be great. Yeah. Uh, so this is Mojo Rising. Uh, Mojo Rising. Um, There's a Jim Morrison looking guy at the head of this band. Who's if I was auditioning a... for a Doors band, <laughs> they'd be like, I guess we're doing uh, the late stuff. Why? <laughs> Stop. Because I ain't looking like no 20. Oh, you? No, are Morrison. you crazy? Come on. Yeah. I would. I was just about to say that this fella, like, he, I think the top that top he's wearing may be a couple of two sizes too big, just because it seems to be like creeping out in the back, like um he, the blob. Wearing, yeah, what he's doing? There's a Jim Morrison on stage who is wearing the the puffy shirt Jerry Seinfeld wore on uh, on Seinfeld. I'm not wearing the shirt. All right, let's see this. <laughs> was recorded at the Voodoo Lounge in Kansas City, Missouri. He's walked off uh, out of frame. Oh, now he's, he's pulling up uh, oh. the t- audience members on the stage. Oh, God, I hate it when these girls are going to dance sexy. Yeah, uh, like, uh, wow, exclusively female audience members is pulling up on stage to dance along with them. Is there a third one? Oh, they're having fun. Now they're doing nice. a little dance. Got some Morrison esque moves. Jim Morrison pulled them up on stage and he won't even dance with them. He's just letting them do their own thing. <laughs> He's like, I'm in the middle. You can stay Morgan where you are. Come close to me. And really quickly, I guess one of the big things here is uh, how does he pull off the Mojo Rising section of this song? So let's cut to that. Robbie Krieger looks like he's in the witness relocation program. He's wearing like a fake wig and sunglasses. I think these audience members might have been plants. They're still up on stage and they're really, they seem prepared to dance. And they are terrible dancers. Never underestimate the power of a drunk white girlfriend. I got 
the gist. All right, so that is uh, Mojo Rising, our first contestant. Um, this next one up is, uh, they are also doing L.A. Woman, uh, and this is The Doors Alive. Okay. Live in Warsaw 2023. It's this funny because they're new not. One. Well, two of them are not. Yeah. It's like someone's breaking the news to you. They're like, the yeah. doors are alive. And you're like, no, 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 grandma. Right. No, no. Yeah. And she goes, yay. You say, no. <laughs> grandma, the doors, yes, uh, are, yes, alive. No. No. Okay. This is apparently TJ Another Miller puffy from shirt. the Doors tribute band. <laughs> He's saying, what do you want to hear? Whip it out. <clears throat> That's what I'd yell at a Doors show. Whip it out. This is a mess. All right. I think I made a decision. What if they played a uh, Fleetwood Mac song? Wouldn't that be the greatest? <laughs> what if they did just like, just like, they do you make love and fun? Wait, pause it. I can't hear Tom. What, what if they just say? played a Fleetwood Mac song? Oh, I thought you were going to say 99 bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> that would be the greatest thing I ever heard. It was like, yeah, 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> and he's so dumb, he gets the numbers wrong. <laughs> counting, He can't count down. This guy 90, is not what? tucking his shirt in. This is yeah. not a puffy enough shirt, in my opinion. I'm, I'm taking that into account yeah, with yeah. my vote. And this is also one where the other members are not trying nearly as hard to look like um, the other guys in the doors. Yeah, that's a key yeah. part of it. It varies a lot from band to band. Yeah, um, like they're they're putting all the pressure on the on Jim to to bring the doors yeah. to life. The one guy's yeah. oh, we got one guy's wearing a Pulp Fiction t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Although to be fair, I do think Jim Morrison would have really liked Pulp Fiction. Yeah, yeah. She's cursing, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's Dracula. This is the Doors tribute, but then only does the Doors a night. They got arrested for the... <laughs> every show is that show. <laughs> All right, so let's see his version of Mojo Rising for just a direct comparison. Is he shirtless? No, he's kept that stupid Still got thing shirt on. I mean... The guitarist looks like Carlos Santana. Like he's like uh-huh. now. Right. He's really got the crowd into it. He's got the crowd into it. I'm going to say. This Jim Morrison, don't go home alone after the show. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. This guy's putting, he's putting a little bit. The, the first guy was like ostensibly more handsome, but seemed slightly disengaged and didn't have the confidence mm-hmm. that this guy has in terms of full on being Jim Morrison. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to say there's a lot of parking lot action going on with this Jim Morrison. Right? He has to change that shirt. <laughs> help me help me with my shirt. Huh? He like stays he stays in character the whole night. Yeah. They hear from from somebody's minivan. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jim's in there. <laughs> and they find he's just in there alone. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, this is the end. That's the he says he sings this is the end. My only friend. He's just going to town on a dump cake. <laughs> it's just him and a dump cake, and they're just like I would totally eat a dump cake in the backseat of my car after a show. That would be heavenly. Be I'd reward amazing. myself with yeah. a, a, a job well done. Well, speaking and of And I'd be like, Don't worry, guys, I didn't go home alone after that show. Yeah. Any other uh... But I ate the dump cake in the car, so I actually did. I'm just lying. Mm-hmm. 
I've got three other nominees. We'll go quick here, though. This is uh, this is the ultimate doors, uh, and here okay. you have a guy really leaning into the Ray Manzarek yeah, role over I here. Can, I can see it from from the still. He's got um, he's got the hair. He's got the jacket. Yeah, this was is recorded this outside uh, during the day. I always feel like that's the best time to to go to a rock show. Yeah, that's the time you want like to see the, the doors. Absolutely. When eleven thirty in the morning, you have to deal with sunscreen and yeah. where they're gonna. Yeah, this was like a brewery in Indianapolis was like doing a big event, like a day yeah. out, food trucks and. Boy, uh, I the wish I was doors. there right now. I can't yeah. think of anything I'd rather be doing. And they're doing Soul Kitchen here. And the Ray Manzarek is, I mean, the 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 Robbie Krieger is not bad either. This one's got the look. I think the band sounds better. I like that the yeah. keys are up in the mix. I'll have you both know. Yeah, like we're getting the keys. Yeah, you're right. The keyboard. Yep. If Jim can bring it, this one's the best so far. Yep, yep. <laughs> well, <laughs> Mike got a mix and match. I gotta say, he's a uh, he's getting killed by the acoustics here. This sound engineer isn't. is kind of speaking of the dirty doors. I think doors, you're being generous. Dirty. Bla- I think you're being generous, blaming it on the sound. No, Brett, he, it's him too. Yeah, 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 it's a little bit of both. A little bit of both. All th- the other three guys are. They sounded excellent. great. They need a better frontman. They should poach the guy from <laughs> the, the first one. one was like the most he was pro he sounded yeah yeah but he just didn't have the he didn't have the recklessness uh, that yeah it was weird that he kept had. like it was weird that he kept pulling women on the stage yeah. and then leaving them there yeah dance yeah. don't look at me but that band was real yeah. they, they were the tight they down. sounded good and then and then that he, guy started singing. He sounded like Fred Flintstone. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he started singing, it was so embarrassing. <laughs> and it's like, we're waiting. We're like, uh-huh, here we go. Okay, let's see what it's going to be. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah. Yabba dabba doors. doors. <laughs> So right now, uh, uh, the front runner is uh, the ultimate doors minus Jim Morrison. Uh, it's add tricky. the Jim Morrison I, I, from right? Mr. Mojo no, Rising. No, I don't feel like there's any front runner. I feel like it's okay. all just a Frankensteining yeah. of the everyone's best of the words had a, right had now. A fatal flaw. All right, we've got two Pluses left. And here. Two left. This is uh, the Doors tribute. This is Wild Child, and this is at the Whiskey. So they are like, oh, I saw this. I haven't watched this one yet. But Literally like, where the Doors yeah. actually played. So this is a, this is a, a true honor uh, to, to go back to the to the scene itself. Uh, so this is for Wild who? Child. For it's an honor for everyone. For who? Okay. Fair enough. Oh. Roadhouse Blues, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Keep pausing. Keep pausing. <laughs> my grandpa? I think on the right, I think that's Gunther my from Friends. <laughs> Where's my grampy? Uh, where are they singing? It? No, playing the. Oh, playing the guitar. The fu- that looked like my grampy. It is your grampy? I thought your. Wait, your grampy looked like Gunther from Friends? <laughs> It's just like this old guy in a sweater. Maybe yeah. I don't see him as well yeah. as you do, but it looks like this really old guy. He does. He does not taking, look. Taking taking me out of the look. yeah experience. It was just like, all right, my grandpa's gonna play bass for us. Yeah. And this door, this Jim Morrison is missing the, something. The beards are challenging. Like the first one had a beard as well. Yeah. Hi, I know it's hiding something, but it's also showing something. Yeah. But that guy was like, that guy was, that guy looked pretty good. This guy. He doesn't look great. No. Comparatively. 
Well, I've got Not one like final one final one for you here. And this is, of course, the Dirty Doors. The oh. Dirty Doors. Oh, I'm intrigued. Uh, and again, they're doing, I have them doing L.A. Woman. I tried to get everybody doing L.A. Woman, but I couldn't find it for two of them. Uh, but uh, here, is the, here is the Dirty Doors. And they've got a real big stage set up here with their name on the mm-hmm. back. And uh, I don't know where this was. It doesn't, they don't put, you need to put, you need to put where you recorded this. Yeah. Um, based Everybody in listening? Atlanta. They're based in Atlanta. The Dirty Doors are? Look, go down. Go read the description again. Did you ever hear him more excited? Wow. Tom? Well, Keep this going. is an early favorite. This is maybe an early favorite here then. Uh, based in Atlanta, the Dirty Doors faithfully rec- recreate the magic of a Doors concert in sound and stage presence with all the classic hits like Light My Fire, Riders on the Storm, Hello, I Love You, and L.A. Woman. Wow. For audiences everywhere. Okay. Here we go. Very excited for the Dirty Doors. He already touched himself. Great guitar. He already touched his groin. That guy doesn't, guitarist doesn't look like Bobby Krieger, but he's playing. The playing's really good. good. The drummer definitely doesn't look like John Densmore. Keyboard players at least doing a nod toward Ray Manzarek. Right. Here we go. Come on, come on. <laughs> okay. I don't care. <laughs> this is great. Oh, stop. This is so, this is, talk about evoking the spirit of the doors. Yeah. Wow. I want those keys up in the mix. I want those keys up in the mix. I'm going to keep saying it. All right, that's now, the Dirty Doors. That Jim Morrison looks like a, like a like a football player. Jim Morrison didn't play football. No, he didn't. He wasn't a quarterback. He wasn't a quarter. Hard to believe, right? Yeah, I don't know. I think they're probably the best, but I want the keys up in the mix. God damn it! Yeah. What do you think, Tom? I like I like the the. Uh, what was the one that was like at the, the first brewery? One. Oh yeah, that was the uh, the yeah, ultimate the, the out, doors. I like the, the, the I ultimate like the, doors. The three the, the the three guys were so good in terms of look yes. and performance. Agreed. But their Jim Morrison might have we been the swap weakest. We got to swap him out. Worst Jim Morrison I've ever seen. That was the Van Morrison. He thought he was doing a Van Morrison impersonation. Yeah. So we have Mr. Mojo Rising, the first one. Brought yeah, that, the brought the audience on stage, he, and he's got like he's the most handsome of the J- Jim Morrisons, I think. Yeah, but he won't touch you. But he won't. He wants no, he you won't. on stage with him. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, that might and that might be a uh, a move. You know, that might be intentional because uh, I I did watch Oliver Stone's The Doors last night, start to finish. How was it? Uh, it's terrible. It's really uh, really it's, yeah. I mean, how I does just, it compare to JFK? Um, it is JFK is. JFK, you at least have like the Tommy Lee Jones and Joe Pesci giving right. some fun performances yeah, and going right. crazy. Uh, mm-hmm. The Doors is is there is not a single moment or performance that is not cringy to your core. Yeah, I mean, like, there's not a single like takeaway that is not. Val Kilmer wasn't amazing. Uh, he no, just looks exactly like him. That's all. Yeah, he's just. Um, I don't know because I always crazy I always like how Val Kilmer. Like yeah, I always like Val Kilmer better in like comedy stuff like real genius and stuff because he's just inherently kind of goofy and so when he mm-hmm. tries to play like serious Jim Morrison it's just so goofy mm-hmm. and silly but not like intentionally I think so yeah like if I have to compare the Doors Oliver Stone's The Doors movie to JFK it's always going to be JFK blows it away what else do I have to say <laughs> we didn't light the fire Ray Manzarek, <laughs> Ray Manzarek, John Densmore, Rickby Krieger. Rah, rah, rah. Here are more. Oh, they're there the doors. More. We should do that. Yeah. 
We didn't start the fire to the, uh, but about the doors. Yeah. We didn't light your fire, light my fire. Yes, light your fire. <laughs> well, how we, so how is this, uh, I mean, maybe different awards than maybe, maybe uh, Dirty Doors gets the overall title, but then uh, yeah. Ultimate Doors gets the best backing band. Yeah, I'll give it, look, I'll give it to Dirty Doors ultimately as well. I agree with the two of you. If you have to pick a winner, it's Dirty Doors. Got to pick a winner. Yeah, then it's Dirty Doors. I'm going to let these guys know. Fine. Make a little, you know what? It's all tell coming together. To, I'm going to get a trophy a, for tell them. Tell them to make us a, tump, a dump cake. Yeah, You'll get a trophy chance. and it'll it'll be shit because you're obsessed with trophies being bad. Well, I'm going to try to get an old classic trophy for them. Good luck. 